बोलने का मौका दिया बहुत बहुत आभारी हूँ धन्यवाद धन्यवाद माननीय मिथिलेश जी और श्री हरीश वीरन thank you thank you sir thank you sir for for giving me the opportunity sir this particular ministry is one of the most important ministry as far as we are concerned for the present and for the future sir i come from cochin whenever you land in cochin airport once you see outside the through the windows of the your plane there will be something inscribed on the wall boundary walls of the cochin airport sun powers this airport this is that is the only airport in the country which is fully powered by solar energy this has to be emulated in the other parts of the country because both environmentally as well as the on the economical aspect this is one of the best models which we can provide for the country now madam as we all know solar energy is going to be pivotal to our country we are a blessed country in that way wherein we have we get enough and more sunshine so that the solar energy can be harnessed but whether the government is doing enough to harness the solar energy is one thing which we have to examine now my state kerala boasts of a good solar energy state but it all depends upon the policy and the help provided by the union government as far as the pm surya ghar muft bijli yojana is concerned the honorable finance minister announced a rooftop solarization program that will help 1 crore households which will obtain up to 300 free units of electricity every month this scheme needs to be more widened so as to reach more people who cannot afford the huge expenditure on power consumption madam for an ordinary household when a solar plant of at least 3 kilowatt is to be installed the cost comes to around 3 lakhs and the subsidy given on this account is very minimal this needs to be increased increased to at least 50% so that more and more people are motivated to switch over this alternate form of energy madam why do we need this what is the need for this renewable energy which is which is very great today it is primarily because of the environmental concerns climate change is directly related to non renewable energy now fossil fuels we know are harmful and contribute to global warming renewable energy as we all know is pollution free and zero carbon emission so therefore non non renewable energy sources which is very dangerous has to be excluded at least step by step india has a huge potential with long cost line and we can even install wind mills in the sea as some developed countries have done now i have a strong reservation as far as hydro power projects are concerned even small hydro power projects come under this ministry kerala is a state which has got 54 hydroelectric projects now madam you know all these hydroelectric projects come with comes with a dam now because of the change in the cause of rain and change in the course of river we have seen what is happening the natural disasters which are happening in various parts of the country the cloud bursts the change in the course of river are all happening in this country we have seen the recent national disaster in wynad which was one of the one of the reasons was because of the cloud bursts now madam because kerala has got this many 54 hydroelectric project many of the dams are very old dams there is a dam called bulla periyar dam which is constructed in 18th century now that dam is maintained operated and owned by the state of tamil nadu the problem is that it is made of limestone its capacity is to the brink and the people over there are living in fear there has to be some sort of an expert committee particularly after the vaina disaster to look into to look into this issue of whether the dams are safe whether the carrying capacity of mullaperiyar dam is safe and to and to tell the people that you are safe or whether you have to accept the recommendation of the kerala government that we will actually construct a new dam for state of tamil nadu now sir there are certain statistics which i want to place before you 
As far as this ministry is concerned, against a target of residential sector capacity of 40 gigabyte in rooftop solar under the rooftop solar program phase two, only 2,651 megawatts has been Mani installed sadas, as of November 30, 2023. Mani sadas, aap pa samay samapt ho gaya. 30 seconds. Please 30, 30 seconds, ma'am. Of the approximately 4,000 solar mini grids installed in India, 3,300 are government financed, and, and only 5% of these are operational as of July 2023. India targeted installing 175 gigabyte of renewable energy. Mani sadas, please kripa samapt ho gaya. Can we achieve only 120? I'm concluding. I'm concluding. Madam, you know. That is, as our forefathers say, India lives in villages. And I would say, Atman Nirbhar Bharat, it would be possible only when the development takes in villages. Thank you, Madam. Honorable Member, Sri Sanjay said,